Well, greetings and salutations all. This is invisible here. I thought about honestly making a full blown um, presentation for you for this topic, but I doubt it would be worth it. So I'll just discuss it to the point. This short video will be named Why Does Invisible Hate? difficult games and when i say difficult games i'm not talking about anything from what should not be named i'm talking about the games that are so hard to get by examples one who happens full spirit the one that i'm right now playing another example playstation one king Sleeves adventure another one uh, uh, epic mickey, uh, mickey mouse epic adventure from the playstation one as well another one lucky loop for the playstation one also any other examples that i can think of difficult games that are so much hard that they will make you quit them without even uh, touching them again I don't know honestly because I don't tend to play this kind of thing because if I were to play something that is super hard it makes me so much frustrated to the point where I just trash it then I tend to remove it from my mind because it is not worth neither my time or my investment so Previously, I used to like a great challenge and a good uh, difficulty in games but then college happened and i no longer can hold on to any kind of difficulty people say if you're not going to learn a game to earn the victory then you're not worth uh, the victory for that i answer them then if i'm if unless i suffer i will not be worth the victory then i don't want the journey itself to begin with it what exactly happened? In short, it's the same exact reason you play difficult games ex exactly. You love so much to have a blood pressure rising, um, stroke generating difficulty where you will keep getting killed over and over and over again or a puzzle that is so much jammed to the point that you start thinking that the game itself is soft locked like fizz and uh, the only way for you to finish it would be to make a literal team across the world like the ones were made from uh, ingress from niantic and the pokemon go also from niantic where people across the world joined forces to achieve goals and once you can defeat this puzzle or this fight or this uh, riddle after all that amounts of unreal pressure or and exhaustion are dealt with you get an incredible sensation of victory adrenaline uh, rush dopamine rush the hormones in your brain that makes you feel achieved satisfied done something that was otherwise incredibly impossible and whatnot well ladies and gentlemen after i obtained the bliss that is depression my brain no longer gives me this kind of emotions or hormones melancholy depression deletes from your mental system the feeling of joy of achievement and of victory the only things that i can easily feel are rage frustration and grudge so, for example, if I were right now to launch up my e, uh, PC, uh, PC uh, SXPE, which is the emulator for the PlayStation 1, or even PlayStation 2, and play on them either uh, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, has wanted uh, King's Least Grand Adventure, uh, 
Lucky Luke, Mickey's Epic Adventure. All these cursed titles, I hate them and will not touch them. Even if it meant either I touch them or I die, I would choose death. These titles, as much as they are broken, long, too hard, disgusting to play, and overall, overall incredibly frustrating. Unlike you, when I this uh, defeat a hard puzzle, difficulty, a map, and whatnot, I do not feel joy. I can't. As a proof for that, whoever remained with me throughout Ghostwire Tokyo and also Woon Hoon, a vengeful spirit, would tell you instantly that whenever something exceptionally good, like leveling up or getting very good perks, or even finishing super difficult maps, sadistic maps, I feel no joy. I feel no satisfaction. I feel no victory. Even when I get the achievements, it's something just on the side. Even a bigger example for that. The day I got my driver's license, the day I finished high school, the day I got my bachelor degree. What did I feel? You thought, you think that I threw a party and began dancing, singing, got the cake and the pizza and whatnot? No, none of that. None of that at all. Why? Was I exhausted to the point where I just wanted to sleep and then party again? No. Not at all. So what is the reason behind it then? What happened? Simply put, when I finished my high school, my only concern was to register myself, enroll into a college. What about the issue of finishing high school and getting your driver's license? None of that matters. It's just something that happens and life goes on. When I, get, when I finished my nine years, in my eight years, sorry, on the architecture, university and finally got my graduation honestly i was not happy it did not bother me at the very least the only thing that bothered me was once i now go back home i just wish to have a mug of coffee and play video uh, pc games where is the giant party of graduation never existed <laughs> Where is the joy? It does not exist. You face so many trials, so many problems, and so much pressure, stress, depression, and extreme anxiety to the point where whatever you are facing is not worth even doing. That's where it reaches me. It reaches me that when your journey is super hard, super sadistic, I am not a masochist. When my journey is extremely difficult, I no longer care about the fruits or what the conclusion will be. In fact, the reward that is right there at the end of the tunnel, the light, keep it for yourself. I don't want it anymore. A level of frustration that I reach that breaks the camel's back. Simply put, make the challenge exceptionally hard, sadistic, brain failure inducing, and I will simply disown you, your trial, and your existence both. I cannot feel joy. My brain can't register it. Yes, I can from time to time laugh like a moron and react hilariously to some situations. Um, so this example would be in Ghostwire Tokyo Prelude. But this is merely a reaction, not a laugh from the heart. It's just a surprise. My brain can't register achieving victory. I have, if you ask me, what is the biggest victory I have ever done in my life? I will tell you, nothing. You will tell me, okay, what something big event had happened? Well, birthdays mean nothing to me. Ordering deliveries mean nothing to me. 
and graduating thing from school means nothing. Succeeding in uh, my even my YouTube channel itself and uh, gaining the power to get my career as a content creator again, unless I get paid, which is essential for living, for having some food on my table and a roof above my head. Otherwise, as joy per se, nothing. It's just essentials. That's it. So, graduating from high school again, I repeat it. I feel nothing about it. It's just something that happened at went and gone. Getting my driver's license, I do have it. How did it feel when I got it? Honestly, nothing. I just simply passed a test and that's literally it. Went then to register my own uh, name on the card and got it. What was it like when I first uh, drove my personal car, or my rather my father's uh, car? It was fear. I was afraid of making something wrong. What was it like when I gave a ride to my parents or uh, siblings to go do their uh, stuff outside of the of the house, I felt like an errand boy, meaning frustration and boredom. What was it like when I enrolled into a college and began working? An anxiety. What was it like when I finished college completely and got my graduation? Fatigue, fear, and an anxiety of the future. I never live the moment. For me, as long as there's a goal for me to follow, I go after it. As long as the journey has something for me to reach for in the end, that's why I love spoilers. I love to know what am I exactly working for. Don't tell me just enter this tunnel and then go through it. You'll find a light. Okay, can you guarantee me that this light will be a sun, will be some kind of a new land or world? Because for me, all I could see would be just walk through this tunnel and find the light that you told me to find nothing more than a flickering candle meaning it didn't end the journey wasn't worth it the candle wasn't worth it and the moment i blow it away i will be in the swallowed within darkness again my brain does not feel joy I can't be satisfied because I don't know what satisfaction is. I can't be praised because I don't know what is the value of praising or getting praised is exactly to begin with it. So what kind of stuff do I feel then? I feel frustration. I feel hatred. I hate the criticism. I feel anxiety. And when I find something for me that is exceptionally hard, that no matter how many times I go at it, how many times I fight it, face it, and deal with it, but there's no point to what I'm doing, and I keep repeating that stuff. Repetition does not create graduates. Repetition creates slaves, creates a brainwashing. They tell you, if you don't go through this, you can't get good. What if I never wanted to get good? What if I simply went through this stupid journey and you keep telling me there is some kind of an amazing, priceless, whatever reward by the end of it, and all what I see in the front of me is just torture. I will not bother. If all that I'll see in the front of me throughout the journey, without knowing what is waiting for me, is nothing but suffering that is living, and nothing but hardship, then perhaps the reward is not even worth it. I mean, what would you do yourselves if you went through a road that is completely bumpy, filled with shattered dirty glass, filled with pounds of water with electrical current, filled with fires, thorns, poison, predators, tax work? And then once you have reached the utmost 
conclusion of all of this, your reward is just a lollipop. Your reward is just a lollipop. Because, well done, little kid. You managed to defeat this journey. How do you feel? How do I feel? I'll take this lollipop and shove it up your eyes. If you had told me that you, to get the lollipop, you will have to go through this path, I would have told you, go through it yourself. I won't bother. I swear today I almost dropped one horn completely. The last time in the level I got stuck in, I was about to say, if I failed this level, I am cancelling the project. I do not play hard stuff, hard games, because no matter how much I go through them, how hard I suffer through them, and how much I get good in air quotations, unlike you, unlike the world, when I defeat my struggle, if ever, if I don't right away just give up on it, I quit it. If I cannot defeat the struggle, I stop. Because unlike you, when you manage and defeat it, you get extreme doses of dopamine. When I defeat a struggle, all I get is the, the still existing frustration, the still existing rage, and the still existing... Um, feeling of defeat to me victory doesn't exist you either work for a goal and finish it and that's it go to the next goal or you do not go through the journey from the start i don't know what joy is i don't know what feeling happy is because my brain doesn't register it do i feel satisfaction no what I feel is completion. Something is done. Okay. Next. I have a task to do. Okay. Next. Feeling completion is not joy. It's just feeling that you have finished something on your to-do list. That's it. Same as what you feeling you have when you eat or drink water or even raise a flag in a schoolyard there is just some task you do trivial and then you go more go keep moving on no rewards no nothing so when easy games or easy situations appear and the reward is big and worthwhile i believe that doing these things is worth my time and worth my investment so the next time somebody tells me let me tell you about this and that which should not be named and then i will explain to you and then you may like to try it out i tell you if the conclusion is not worth the journey then i don't want to get involved from the start because when you tell me that you will have hardships, you will die a thousand times to the point where you can have your clone corpses from starting from the ground on the earth and spinning around the Pluto and then reaching the earth a thousand times over, collecting all that blood and painting the world red, collecting all that meat and feeding it to the mutts in the streets. And in the end of all of that, you simply take that blade and push it inside yourself and sacrifice your own life because you will let the humans choose their own faith or whatnot. I tell you, give me a blade and I'll shove it for you in your head because you are degenerate. Unless the result, the fruit, is worth all this nonsense, then the whole journey itself is not worth going through. 
Another reason why I hate all of Silent Hill games. The, all the endings are not worth the journey. What else? By the way, I am right now still mad, okay? I finished uh, one on the stream for today, some hours now. Let me check quickly. One on a stream, I finished it. I think it took for me two hours only. I finished it maybe uh, uh, four hours ago. I am still enraged at what happened with me in it. This ridge will not go away. Not now. At least not now. Maybe once I finish it and uninstall it from, my, from myself. So when I see myself having conversations with others, who will not let go? I simply to give them my back and leave. It's the same exact situation every single time. I don't want to go any further into this, but this is the reason for you why Invisible doesn't play hard games or doesn't acknowledge the existence of some garbage around. Simply because his brain works in a different way than yours. You get your high like a cocaine addict from defeating something very hard and required so much work. Invisible feels nothing. All that work that we went through, all that frustration, the hardships, everything that he went through is what he keeps feeling even after the conclusion if the conclusion didn't stimulate stronger emotions then it, it is not worth it that's all people keep telling me about the, those things that should not be named and i keep telling them i'm not interested because why would i wish to be killed and collect as many corpses as it need, it needs to reach the center of the galaxy, and in the end, all I get as a conclusion is a slap on the face with a kick to the nuts. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. It is not worth it. If you would say like this, then living is not worth it. Uh, basically, based on this kind of ideology, I would tell you. Bingo. Yeah, I do believe that living is not worth it either. And before I start advocating for death and suicide and whatnot, I will stop this recording quickly. That's all.